When multiplying decimals, you do not line up the decimals. Find 5.8 times 4. So when multiplying, we don't line up the decimals, we just line up the numbers. So 8 times 4 gives us 32. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 more is 23. Now to know where the decimal goes in our answer, we have to count how many numbers are behind the decimal where we multiplied. There's one number behind the decimal here, so we should have one number behind our decimal in our answer. So our answer is 23 and 2 tenths. When multiplying, again, we don't line up the decimals. We just make sure that there are no empty spaces at the end of the problem. Wherever there are empty spaces in the beginning, we can add a zero. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 more is 13. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Add a zero. 7 times 3, 21. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. 3 times 0 is 0. Now we have to add two zeros. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 0 is 0. And now we can add. We get 5, 4, 16, and a 3. Now we have to count how many numbers are behind the decimal where we multiplied. So we have one number behind the decimal here and two numbers behind the decimal here. So in total, we should have three numbers behind the decimal in our answer. 1, 2, 3. So our answer is three and six hundred and forty-five thousandths.